So next, I would like to introduce Kent Woodruff. Currently, I work as a wildlife biologist for the Mahaw Valley Ranger District of the Forest Service. I think I've found the very best way to serve you as, as best I can. So I'm going to share just a little bit, a teaser about the beaver project that we've been working on in the Meadow Valley for the last three years. We've moved uh, about 120 beavers so far in the project that we're working on in the Meadow. So trying to uh, do a little like Joe described, help solve problems if they're solvable. And if they're not, then do some removal, put them to use elsewhere. This, uh, this picture here is, is one of the sites that we've restored. It's an example of the complexity that we're after when we're trying to restore beavers to places. Complexity is, is the key to uh, enhancement, I think, and improvement that we're after. So that's, that's just another example of what beavers do, spreading the water out. This is a site uh, that we initiated in 2003 and it was uh, heavily degraded and, and the water table was very low. In this case, we've restored the water table to this probably 15-acre marsh where you can't walk across there without getting, your, uh, getting wet up to your knees. And that's the goal of what we're trying to do with the project that we're uh, initiating is spreading water out and making complex wetlands that can benefit uh, water storage salmon habitat, sediment capture, all the things that Amanda and Joe talked about. There's uh, just an example of one of our subjects in his favorite food, Aspen. Aspen is the favorite food for beavers. If it's true that, that the ground is as porous as this glacial landscape is what we, what we suspect, and if a dam blocks a large volume of water, that's a lot of weight and what is osmotic pressure that goes down into the sponge that's the ground and there there is a very large volume of water that's stored on the ground that then winds up coming out someplace. It comes out cooler because everything on the ground is 50 degrees, 51 or 2 maybe. And so it's stored at a cool temperature which is a, which is a significant benefit for all of our trout species. This is one of our restoration sites where um, they, they started building a dam, and you can see uh, ran water around this side here. Uh, just another example of this is uh, this is a good place for sediment capture and expansion of the water table. The water table in, on the landscape behind behind this pond is as high as the water level of the pond. The the ability for us to accept some convenience or problems and and gain benefits from the consequences of those problems is really what I think what we're talking about and have been talking about for years. Uh, this is this is home to the king beavers. This is one of the spots that uh, we established last summer. <laughs> This, this is an example of a stream that doesn't have beers, it probably used to, but one of the things you can see here is uh, the lodgepole that's growing there wouldn't be there if the water table was higher. It would drown, it would drown the roots of the, of the lodgepole and then uh, become more herbaceous and willows and, and water-loving trees. So that's a spot that we near there that we wound up releasing beers and hopefully as a water table. Beavers. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>